So let's just see how we can convert binary tree to the binary search tree. So this is one binary tree. Here each node can have maximum of two children. Now let's just see how we can convert this to this binary search tree. So we're gonna keep the structure of the tree same. Now we have to shift these values so that the left child should be lesser than the root and the right child should be greater than the root. So let's just see the step by step process. So first of all, we have to traverse this tree. So we have to perform the in order traversal. So we're going to start the traversal. So whenever we reach below one node, that will be the in order traversal. So first of all, we have four, then we have two, then we are below five, then we are below one, and then we are below three. So this is our in order traversal. So you can see these values are not sorted. That means this is not a binary search tree. So in a binary search tree, the in order traversal values are always sorted. So because we wanted to convert this to this binary search tree, that means we have to sort these values. So if we sort them, we're gonna have the values one, two, three, four, and five. So now we have to insert these sorted values into our tree. So we're gonna perform the in order traversal. So whenever we're below one node, then we're gonna insert the value into that node. So next we are below this node. So two will be inserted here. Next three will be inserted here. And then we're gonna continue. So then four will be inserted here. And then lastly, this five will be inserted here. So now if we see the left child is smaller than the root and the right child is larger than the root. Similarly here also, the left child is smaller than the root and the right child is larger than the root. So that means we can say that this is one binary search tree. So that means we have successfully converted this binary tree into this binary search tree. So we have to follow simple steps. First of all, we have to perform the in order traversal. Then we have to sort the numbers. And after that, we just have to simply insert them into this binary tree. So hope you understand the concept. See you in the next one. Take care.